Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to blow moving objects on CapCut PC. So if you want to blow out someone's face, plate number on your car or any element you want to blow on CapCut, this is how you can go about it. So in this video, we're going to be blowing out Hogmitten Street View. And in the video, we're going to be blowing out this guy's face. So the first thing you want to do is open the CapCut on your PC. You want to create a new project and you'll be taken to your project dashboard. Now you can import your file by dragging your file onto the timeline. Or in this section, you want to click on import and find the root directory of your file. When you have any file imported, you'll be able to drag them onto your timeline in this section. Now, the first thing I usually do is extract the audio of the video. So if you're working on the project and there's an audio on the video, you want to make sure you first extract the audio so you don't have repetition in audio. Now, you can do this when you right click on the clip. You will see the option to extract audio. But since the video we are using in this project don't have any audio, I won't be able to extract the audio. I'm just showing you how you can do that. Once you've done that on your timeline, you want to find the starting point you want to start your blow effect and the end point of your blow. Which for this video is where his fist first started showing. And you can hover on your timeline to check when the character exits the frame. Once you're in this position, you want to press on your keyboard Ctrl B to break your clips into two. You can also do this when you press on B on your keyboard and you have the bleed too. With this, anywhere you click on your clips will be cut into two. So now we have the clip we want to blow on CapCut. Now click on the clip and press on Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy the clip. Once copied, you want to move your mouse to the starting point of that same clip. And here you want to press on Ctrl V. This will paste the video as an overlay. Now, while on this video clip, you want to come to this section where it says effects click on effects and then click on video effect to see more options here you want to click on lens on that lens you want to find blow now click and hold down on blow and drag the effect onto your top video clip which is an overlay on your timeline now you have a blow effect over the video clip and you should see in the top right section special effects here you'll be able to increase the intensity and reduce the intensity of your blow effect this totally depends on what you are trying to blow out so you might want to adjust your settings to your specification now you can always come back to this section to get back you want to click on the effect at the top left corner of your video overlay click on this and you see the special effect on that clip now come back and click on the clip itself and not the effect the next thing you want to do is drag this all the way to the start point of your effects and then come to the video section and click on mask under mask you need to choose a shape that best covers the character or object so for this video i'll be using the cycle now click on your desired shape and you get this blow effect on the player you can move the blow effect to the character and adjust it to the shape of the face or the character to get better result you want to click on the zoom icon under the player and you can drag this to zoom into your video you can also use the blue preview to move around on your clip here you'll be able to properly adjust the blow to match the face or the object you can always come back here and then zoom out from here now whilst you are at the starting point you can zoom in into your timeline by clicking on this and dragging it and this will zoom in into your timeline you'll be able to see more of what is really going on in your clip now from the starting point you want to move a little bit forward and where you notice that the face moves while still highlighted on your clip you want to come to the mask session and then click on the keyframe this will add a new keyframe indicating the change of position and the size of the blow effect you've added on the first keyframe you've added you want to come back to your player and then adjust the blow effect make it bigger to match the face or adjust it and move it around with the face then come back to the timeline and see if there's a change in the location of the character and the object then come back to this section and adjust to that change a new keyframe will automatically be added after any change you make you can also move around where you click on the pointer and move it around on your timeline adjust based on the movement again and you need to repeat this step over the whole clip so i will go ahead and finish the edits so after adding all the keyframes this is what my new clip time frame looks like now when you play the video this is what it looks like so that's how to blow moving objects on CapCut pc thank you for watching this video and i hope you found this video helpful if you do find this video helpful do make sure to like subscribe and have the post notification turned on